Hi, Plastic Junkie here, and Joel Nerd Eleven. Uh, Joel Nerd Eleven has his own uh, seg uh, has his own YouTube channel now. Check it out. It's called Joel, Joel Nerd Eleven. He does GI Joe and Transformers so far. Uh, so far, I subscribed, and three out of my friends subscribed. So hey, it's cool. We have a, he has a few subscribers. We we like him. He's cool, and uh, he took off my um, under my wing. <laughs> I'm no more Joel Nerd. No, I still have. You're he fired. Right. <laughs> no, he's still ha he's still with me. Okay. I Thanks wasn't for plugging my channel, by the way. Anytime. I appreciate it. <laughs> I was in Toronto, and I found the most unusual toys I've ever bought. I was in there in April. Uh, I found this. <laughs> They're called Manta Force. They're from the UK, as you can see here. The line means UK. As uh, as I showed you, uh, uh, my. Uh, well, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, and yeah, Ghostbusters and Mask. They they come from the UK too. Uh, you can find a lot of them too. Uh, they, their packaging is always the same. It's just the only thing that's different. You see this lion, this happy lion, right there in a triangle, in a white triangle. So uh, what I paid for this was ten dollars, which is <coughs> uber cheap and uber weird. This is the most uberest weird figures I've ever found in my life. They they remind me of Starcom, but they don't have the same size as Starcom as you see uh, they're a little bit smaller than Starcom Starcom are a little bit bigger mm. these are what about what would you say Joe Nerd? Boy, oh boy. an inch? <coughs> yeah like maybe a, an inch and yeah. a little bit yeah paid the pack this pack five dollars and I paid this ten uh, it's a little bit ripped here so I guess let's start with the little guy the little guy the company is called Bluebird they came out in 1988 and it's called Battle Bazaar and it's it's just so weird. Actually, it's buzzard. Battle buzzard. Sorry. <laughs> I like that they even have the acronym for for Manta. It is multiple air, naval, and terrain assault force. Oh, there That's we go. That's pretty. Manta wow. Is. Snazzy. Mm -hmm. Manta. Is. Yeah. That's cool though. Actually, yeah. I like that. In the back, the art is much, much, much more nicer. Silver, and has tons of the stuff to collect. The good guys are always gray and yellow. The bad guys are black and uh, purple. Uh, I don't know if the, the the black guy is the leader and the purple guys are his, his henchmen. I think it is. And the gray guy is the good guys are his, the leader and the yellow guys are, are the henchmen. Are the, 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 you know, the soldiers. And the, the good guys also come in white and red. Which I find really, really... This is honestly cool. I would love to collect as many as I can. I don't care if they're worth nothing. I don't care if they're knockoffs. Like I said, I like knockoffs. There's one of my subscribers doesn't like knockoffs. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I'm I like to collect anything. Whatever I catch my my eye on, I collect. So, anyways, let's go to this. Uh, has two little weapons that come in the pack on the side with the two little characters uh, that you attach to to eat the little weapon here, the battle buzzard. Battle buzzard. Buzzard. Yeah. What a name. And uh, see, you can see underneath it has little hooks there and everything. I don't know if it hooks onto something else. Probably. Or this stands. It just stands as you can see it's, it's standing. To press, on, to, press, to press action drop bombs. So what you do, you, pre you press here with your finger and the bombs fell. The little red bombs. I don't know. What, what can I say more about this? What do you want to do? Can you want to help me here? Yeah, uh, well, I am stumped. I don't know. I've don't never really, seen this. Yeah, uh, and I've never seen it before either. Um, you know, I, I've just seen it. My first time seeing it was like uh, 20, no, like 45 minutes ago and when <coughs> I just got here to the Plastic Junkies. and But I don't know much about them, but uh, they're really, I like really them. nice. I like them too. Uh, the one interesting thing uh, Plastic Junkie and yeah. I were talking about, about the bigger vehicle here. No, we didn't touch on that yet. But uh, it's funny how the, the front packaging art isn't so, all that great. So let's touch this one now. All right. Let's go for this one. But uh, I find that the, the front packaging art really doesn't do a good job selling the toy, I find. It's yeah, pretty... it looks like a kid of two years old drew it or something. Well, it's really dorky. It's really not that good. But then when you flip it over, the, the artwork for the co-cells is dynamite. It's really, really nice. In fact, it, it kind of has a... The look of the, the co-cell art on the back there kind of makes me feel like it's an old Mattel product. It really has that, that flavor, I find. Yeah, and it came from, made in Great Britain in 1988, Bluebird Toys, PLC, uh, Swindon, Wits, under license, Seven t uh, Towers Limited. I like this because it's different. I've never seen toys from them 
probably like I, like we said before, like the Ghostbusters and the mass vehicles. Yes, I already have that. I have is it Domino or uh, Dynamo? Dynamo. Dynamo. I have him UK. I have uh, a few UK uh, carded figures of of Ghostbusters and a few uh, packed uh, uh, what's it called vehicles vehicles of Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. Uh, the, 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 the seller that sold me this in April said that in July he's bringing more and I told him to put them all aside I'll take them he has Red Ve Venom he has The Bat he said he has and he also has The Battle Fortress I, I, I want this I really really want this are they all sealed in the box? they're all sealed in the box wow uh, I'm going to do something really, really only plastic junkie does I'm going to crack this open <laughs> it was already open it was already open but you know what Let's show the viewers. I'm sure some viewers just reacted the same way. Uh, <laughs> I can't really show much, but look in, if you want to see. Opened, yeah. It's partially opened. You, I could show you the in, a little bit of the instructions, which I find uber cool. It's a new word. I like it. Yeah, you've been saying that a lot lately. Getting yeah. a lot of mileage out of that. Look at that. Extended Manta Force. These are the bad guys. You see the good guys. He, look, he looks like something like, he looks like Major Blood. I, he reminds me of Major Blood. His face it looks like he's he's so pissed off. He took a dump in his suit. Kind of like the shell, the shape of the helmet, I guess. Actually, his face too. The yellow guy reminds me of the helmets from the original Battlestar Galactica. Oh, cool. The ah. Then inside, yeah, the same really nice co-cell artwork. Yeah, th what I would really like is this, the red, uh, this place, this place I read here that you could put all the small vehicles inside. That is super cool. Oh wow, that would be so nice to look how big it is. It must be huge, huge. Yeah. <laughs> then the other side. What can I say? Look, they made thermos, the big mouth flax. They made everything, uh, mugs, bowls. They made all kinds, lunch boxes, uh, you uh, sandwich boxes too. You name it, they made things for this stuff. But it came out in 1908, so you know what? It is vintage, and this is oh, yeah. European vintage. Like, like think about it, because. Megathor and Titus. Titus came out in in Italy in the UK. So, could this be uber rare and ex rare, like really, really worth money? Maybe. I don't know if they are on the internet. But what I give them, what I give this, is a three and a half. Out what of I, uh, out of what? Out of a five. Always five. Oh, five. We always do five. But what I give this, I give this a five. This, I don't like the artwork in the front, mm -hmm. but I love the back. It's beautiful. The company's weird because it's Bluebird, and what a w weird name for a company. I love this. It smells vintage. <laughs> uh, I just like it so much. You uh, know, what can I tell you? You know what else I find about it is that uh, the names that they've given these vehicles are really awesome. You've got, like, Red Venom. That sounds cool. I You've can't got get that one. The Bat, which is, uh, you know, just like the G.I. Joe figure. You know, and... Uh, what else? There was another one, I think it was called the Sludge Hammer that I noticed in that pamphlet that the Plastic Junkie was showing. And you've got the Cyclops. That's a kind of neat name. Battle Fortress is what I'm... Uh, he has it, he says, and it comes with a lot of accessories. Yeah, it looks it comes like with it. 22 crack, tro <laughs> crack, crack <laughs> troopers. Crack, crack troopers. troopers. Crack troops. troops. Crack 22 of them. Imagine, you get 22 <laughs> little action figures with it. That's cool. Uh... I don't have more to say about this, but if anyone out there knows a little bit about this, mm -hmm. Plastic Junk would like to know. I like it. Joe Nerd likes it. The Golf Party, what do you think about them? Uh, I like it. They're cool, huh? Yeah, cool vehicles. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't make a difference what you think. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> there you go. So Plastic Junkie out. Joe Nerd out. This was Manta Force. And I wish to get more of these out in the... In, uh, in the in, I'm going to try to buy more. But I'm just going to show you quickly the, the side here, the front, this side, it says zip gun, they actually have throw, uh, little pellets that, that, that fire, the other side the same thing, the underneath it's gray, but the push, push, pr proof, proof of purchase, purchase. Yeah. and the, the back again, which is uber nice, beautiful. I like this. <laughs> Anyways, Spike Junkie out. Joe Nerd again out. Thank you very much for watching for the most unusual segments. Like, I've been doing a lot of weird ones. Like, I've been trying to find weird stuff. There you go. And I'm the first guy that ever did it. Stay plastic. <laughs>